Hey guys, Alton here. I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel and to my free two and a half hour introduction to Windows Server 2016 course. Now, what this free course is, is that it's picked and pulled lectures that I put together for my full fledged eight hour course on Windows Server 2016. And what I'm going to teach you here on my YouTube channel is the basics of Windows Server 2016. We're gonna utilize VirtualBox. I'm gonna show you how to set up your own virtualized home lab where we're gonna install Windows Server 2016 and Windows 10. Then from there, we're gonna take our server, we're gonna promote it to a domain controller with Active Directory. I'm gonna show you the basics of Active Directory. Then what we'll do is we'll do some other things. I'm going to show you how to turn it into a web server with IIS. I'm gonna show you how to turn it into a print server by deploying print services, and then we'll do some other things. So this course is designed to show you the basics and to show you how to set up your own home lab with VirtualBox with Windows Server 2016. Now, what I wanna start off doing in this video is I wanna go over the curriculum for the course, not just this course, but the entire full-fledged eight-hour course to give you an idea of what the entire course encompasses. For those of you that after when you finish this course, if you want to continue, you can go ahead and take that full course where there will be a link down in the description below. So let's go ahead and let's get started and let's take a look at the curriculum for the full-fledged eight-hour course. So anyways, let's get started. In this video, we're gonna do a walkthrough of our course curriculum, just to give you an idea of everything that we're gonna cover in the course. So let's go ahead and let's get started. So I'm taking a look at the course curriculum PDF, and you can download this as well, it's attached to this video. So of course, we're in section one right now, the course introduction section. After this video, we're going to take a look at client server architecture to make sure you understand what the client server architecture is. And we're also gonna talk about why you should learn how to use Windows Server in 2019 and beyond. And then I'll do an introduction into virtualization and I'll also do a quick live demonstration. In section two, we're then going to do our initial VirtualBox setup and operating system installation. So we'll go over some VirtualBox prerequisites and requirements. We'll then download it, install it. We'll also download and install our Windows operating system ISO files. We'll then create our VirtualBox virtual machines. And then after that, we'll install Windows 10 and Windows Server 2016 and update them with Windows updates. In section three, we discussed some VirtualBox troubleshooting. Because this is an online course, it's important for you to know how to troubleshoot VirtualBox on your own. And also because VirtualBox is free software. So we go over some basic things that you may run into. I show you how to access the VirtualBox community form, their bug tracker, and their end user documentation. Then we move on to section four. In section four, we set up our sandbox testing environment. And if that doesn't make sense in regards to what that is, it will by the time we get there. So we're gonna set that up. We're gonna take a look at VirtualBox snapshots. And then we're also going to clone our Windows 10 virtual machine. Then from there, we're going to jump into section five. And in section five, we take a look at navigating Windows Server 2016. So if this is new to you, if you haven't worked with the older versions of Windows Server, then we wanna make sure we cover all the basics. So we cover things like server manager, task manager, understanding the start menu, computer management, and so forth. Then we jump into section six, and this is where it gets fun. So we start taking a look at Active Directory and what it is. So I give you an introduction to what Microsoft Active Directory is. We install it, we configure our Windows Server as a domain controller. We then explore Active Directory. We add computer accounts to Active Directory. We manage user accounts with Active Directory. We create user home folders within Active Directory. We do a basic login script and we also set up roaming profiles for Active Directory. So we do a lot of fundamental stuff in that section. Then in section seven, we get into some networking services and we do an introduction to DHCP. So I give you an overview of what it is and we install the DHCP rule on our server and we configure our scope for our internal network. In section eight, we take a look at DNS and the name resolution process. So I give you an overview 
of what DNS is. We also do an overview, a very high level overview of the name resolution process. And then we explore Windows Server DNS role. In section nine, we take a look at the web services feature within Windows Server 2016, specifically something called IIS. So we install IIS web server on our server and we set up a basic website. In section 10, we take a look at print services. So in section 10, what we'll do is we'll deploy some printers via the print services on our server. And we'll also talk about verifying and managing printers via a web interface with this as well. In section 11, we return back to Active Directory and we talk about Active Directory groups and organizational units. So we talk about them, how they differ, and we also explore them and we work with them as well. In section 12, we then take a look at group policy management, an important aspect to Active Directory. So I give you an overview of what group policies are, and then we take a look at utilizing them and utilizing something that we call group policy objects to do different things within our test environment, such as deploying a standardized background for all the computers on our domain and creating a login banner as well for our computers. In section 13, we take a look at NT file system and share permissions. So I want you to understand what they are and how they differ. And then we take a look at utilizing them together. So we create a public share and we also use NT file system permissions as well. In section 14, we then take a look at setting up user quotas on their network drive with the file server resource manager role. So we install and we set that up and then we set up user quotas with that. We also take a look at the NT file system quotas as well. In section 15, we take a look at enabling the remote desktop protocol. So I show you how to enable that so you can remotely log into your server and administer it from another system. In section 16, we then talk about utilizing Windows Server Update Services, better known as WSUS. So I show you how to install and configure that role and its features. We then set it up and we set up our system so our computers on our network use group policy objects to pull their updates from our Windows Server Update Services rather than directly from Microsoft. Then in section 17, I show you how to utilize the Windows Server Backup feature. So if you're not using any sort of third-party software, you know how to use that. And then lastly, in section 18, we do an introduction to PowerShell. So PowerShell is a scripting language for Microsoft, and we're going to go over PowerShell. We're going to talk about what it is, and we're going to go over some basic PowerShell commandlets to do things within Active Directory, such as creating user accounts, enabling, disabling them, adding Active Directory groups, and adding Active Directory organizational units. So that's everything we're going to cover in this course. It's quite a lot. We cover 18 sections, and we go over a lot of different topics. So I wanted to make sure that we went over them in this video before we started going into them. And I'd recommend printing out this course curriculum so you have it handy as a reference guide as you're progressing through the course. So if you have any questions about what we discussed in this video, please let me know. If not, thanks for watching, and I'll see you at the next video. Take care. Well, I hope that you enjoyed today's video and you learned a lot from it. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and also consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. Now, if you're interested in taking this full course or just learning more about it, check out the video description down below because I've included a link where you can learn more about the course and enroll into it if you'd like. So again, thanks for watching my video. I appreciate it and I look forward to seeing you guys at the next video. Take care.